everybody. Got a quick break, we're back again. Creepy intro. <laughs> Strangers yeah. have the best candy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of those uncles. <laughs> anyway, it's Uncle Jelly Roll. We're back, and uh, probably be some time in between us. As you can tell, it's the same evening. Yeah. Um, we so not our cartoon clothes. characters. We don't have the same clothes on every episode. That's right. Uh, Charlie Brown. Mike has a another group. This is a high value. Yeah, I'd say half CPR. Uh, yeah, not as many as the last yeah. one. Yeah, there, yeah. there are a few. Oh, can't get them there. But on the back, you can see there's a couple of purple labels. So there's a couple of restored. Um, probably about fifteen or this so. Is high value is what they call this now. Yeah, so these books are worth yeah. up to a thousand. I'm sure a few went over. Oops. Um, yeah. yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. It happens, you know. It slipped in that, like, you know, nine, eight, ten grand book in there. But yeah, so these are mostly thousand dollar books. All right, let's, uh, get, let's get to it. Cracking. Again with another Guinness. I'm in the Guinness Fourth here. Fourth one. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that sound. Eating the whole bakery. Yeah. Oh boy, starting off with a weird book. <laughs> weird. Define weird. Yeah, nothing's weirder than that last one we had, that last video with the... The, the punch? Yeah, the vulture with the naked chicks. <laughs> I say. It's a classic. Probably by the time someone sees this video, that book will be sold. Could be. Some guy watching that. I a nerd, have, nerd fight already. I gotta have that. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, if you see books that you want... So here's oh, yeah. my IG account selling comics. .com. I like it better. Thank you, Miss White. Yeah. Um, rather than forget to put it on the uh, in the description down below, like it usually happens. Well, I didn't know we were here. doing selling Oops. comics anymore. What we should do is do a URL to your short. I box. that's my main IG. It's my what website. It? My website selling comics how many, com. how many comics do you have on Shortbox right now? Uh, I had a lot. They all sold. Yeah. Like, I do you do? It. I haven't done raw yet. Have you done raw yet? No. No, I haven't either. I have books in the auctions now. I don't Anyone know. that's done raw on Shortbox, comment below. I want to see. I want to know how they how you made out. Ooh, that sounds kind of like loquacious there. Yikes! <laughs> Anyone's been doing raw on the oh. short boxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me all your raw dog stories. Demonetized. Demonetized. <laughs> Here we go. So this was a straight up. So this one had a small spine scoop. Before you pull it off, I'll tell you my guess. Um, I was thinking this was a six five. Boom. Five five. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, because there's a split up here at the what top the about an inch long. What's going on here? Be weird. It's, uh, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that in the back. Did you guys ever see uh, uh, RoboCop at the very end? That yeah. guy got doused with toxic waste, and he goes, yeah. he goes, help me. That's the guy from RoboCop on the back. Look at this. Before Michael Ironside hit him with the car, and he popped like yeah, a there was year no, old watermelon. There was no. Uh, Get a close up of that guy. Love we're we're going to call him Watermelon Man. He's kind of like this old vegetable. Actually, he kind of looks like Jabba the Hutt a little bit. It's his half brother. He's got the sluggy body, though. <laughs> yeah, just look at that weird thing. We always read the strange I things. I have no idea why they, they called all those guys in front of the Senate. Oh, okay. so red so costume. This one is number seven. This is a book that I submitted for it's a really client nice. of mine. Real nice. Uh, I don't have it written down because it wasn't my book. There's actually four books or five books in this box that I submitted. For a, uh, a client, customer, friend of mine, um, I think this one is a six five. Yeah, I'd say at least a six. It's got a little bit of stuff going on on the spine. If I recall, yeah. what we graded it before we submitted the book, six boom, five. six oh, yeah. close enough. Close enough for that to end Boom. Bang bang bang. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we were just talking about this. Oh, yeah. This is a two for. So I got one of these on a trade, and I had another one. Oh, is that nice? Nope, that's not it. Super white. Ooh, this is it. And these are both CPR books. Truly the beginning of the Bronze Age. Not officially, so, but story-wise, because this came out in 73. Cider Man. Oh, here they are. And they do Aunt May. Was Aunt May ever young? Whew, she was a looker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From 1923. Yeah. So these were 80 oh, and 85 CPR come in, books. Come into the parlor, Peter, and give us some. Is that a euphemism? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. So, back to comics. Uh, Spider Man. Cider Man. So one of these was an 8, one was a. Yeah, I was got some killer hair, don't they? <laughs> 
Cut yeah, Brillo. Cur cur made, <laughs> made by Brillo. One, two, three. Boom. 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 Nine, two. Ooh, nine, four. Wow. Wow, that's like the time. Hey, this is like, yeah, you and I had that shootout back in, uh, what was it, uh, July Rhinos, yeah. 1918. Wow. Holy cow. So that look, one. Look there on the back. Is like, do you think you get that out? You got you to tilt it in the light. It's a tiny dent, and it's about maybe sixteenth of an inch. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would definitely come out. Didn't count towards the grade, though. You don't think? Nope. Well, we're going to look in the graders now. 8.5 to a 9.4. That one's a big jump, too. Ah, the taste of teardrops. <laughs> white, that is. Yeah. Oh, both have white pages, too. Yeah, this is beautiful. Both still have white pages. Holy cow. This could be a nice sex <laughs> mic. You might I think it. you should buy it. I'm selling it right now. And you could resubmit. I see one, one tick there, and that's it. I think you should go for it. Uh, I, I got I have, I have three of these now. I got, actually, I got one in route, and I think it's a 9-2. So. so this was one of my customers' books. I'm going to say, I think we graded this at a 5-0, maybe a 5-5. Five five. How did the customer do? Ago. Boom, 5-0. That's what, what I thought it was. Yep. Wow, that's a really <laughs> nice 5-0. Got a little, it's, got some jank over in this side. Any, anyone better than your, your oh. what did you call it? The, the, the junk pile? What was that? No, oh, that's my uh, landfill. Landfill. That's so, a, and, and it had that creepy drawing someone did yeah. with like the toenails with red on the toenails. Yeah. I think it was supposed to be hands, but they, whoever did it didn't know how to draw or whatever, but it looked like giant toenails. Yeah. I think it's an underrated cover. So it's your, your copy seven. looked like your dog ate it. I and traded then, it to a guy, and, and it had and then, seven staples in it. And then, and then the dog passed the book, yep. and then it was in the yard for a while until you finally dug it out, yep. and then you finally took it out of the compost and reassembled it. Actually, got that for reprints. Ah, hold on, a, hold on. A triple action or one of those uh, double double features. <laughs> it was three double features. That the kids sounds like an it. adult movie. Hey, oh, <laughs> Planet X. Okay. So this one is a very special book. If you if you zoom in and look, the the little note right here. Can you read that? Jack Kirby, written on first page in marker. Because for those of you that don't know, Jack Kirby wouldn't sign covers. He would only sign usually on the bottom of yeah. the first page. So, so this was a second gen case. Now, I don't think there was a chance for a great bump, but I wanted this for my personal collection. Yeah. So I took it out. I took a picture of the Jack Kirby autograph or signature so I could have it for posterity purposes. You sent it to me so I could put and, it in. Uh, so this book I'm going to keep, but I still think it's a 7-0. Boom. Okay, 7-0. Good. It didn't go down. That's a PC book right but, there. But yeah, it's signed. So now I have... Fan and early on, that's totally oh. Jack Kirby right there. Yeah. I have Fantastic <laughs> Four number two signed by Jack. Um, I have number seven signed by Jack, and I have a 49 signed by Jack and Stan. Nice. And they have all been purchased by just luck. I haven't like gone on my way looking for a Jack Kirby autograph book. Oh, this is another customer book. First appearance of the Wasp. Oh, no, actually, this is mine. I take that back. This is mine because... This might be a keeper, Mike. Nope, sell it. 6.0. I don't know. I'm just not into this book. Yeah, it, it, it does have a, a real, probably an inch and a half. Now, maybe if the wasp crease. didn't have leggings and was wearing her skirt like, I like the girl, I like the beanie hat. Like she that was. girl does, but so this was says, a six. Boom. Six, five. Nice. All right. I think it's a great cover. Yeah, this, uh, hold it up again. I just realized this. You know that uh, Tales to Astonish book? I think you just bought one. That classic issue number like 28. Oh, yeah. There's a monster in my window. Yeah. I think this is the same monster. I think he's, he's a little green now. He got a little but color. That, on that his one screen. I just wondered though. The guy, how does the teacher not see Actually, that put guy? a picture of it right here. There's a monster in my window. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the same creature. Yeah, it's a bunch of kids in a high school and the teacher's lecturing and then off the side this giant creature. The creature's pink, I think. It looks like some oh, kind of like. This might know, not be leaving the house. Like dog loaf. Is this yours or, or is this the uh, customer's? This is this is yours. No, yeah, I might be buying this. So I've been kind of in the market for this. I I, I don't care so much for the Jeremy Renner Hawkeye, but I always, as a kid, I liked Hawkeye because he was just a normal guy. He didn't have any powers and he started off as a bad guy. Seven he turned good. Wow. So this one looked really clean for a <laughs> yeah. seven. It's real white. So I thought, let's take a chance. Boom. Oh, and CGC says rejected. Oh, 
is for sale. It's a sharp looking 7 0. It's the nicest 7 0 you're ever going to see. It's the nicest 7 0 you're going to own. Look at this. Boys, girls, <laughs> men, women. If you know just 20 people, Mike. How oh, that's changed over the years. Yeah. <laughs> There's about 10 more pronouns. You know, as you get older, do you, do you know 20 people anymore? Do I know 20 people? <laughs> Alive or dead? No, it's just like when you're a kid in high oh, school. Oh, you have 20 people. Yeah, when you, if you died in high school, a thousand kids show up to your funeral. But when, when you're what like, kind of school did you go like to? When you're like late 50s, <laughs> ten, 10 people show up? <laughs> no no more friends uh -oh. just being that curmudgeon. This is, yeah, this is the Nubia. So this was a book that I got at a local show. I was shocked to see the guy had a bunch of Wonder Woman books, which I, all, I all the collectors were avoiding. This yeah. was at the toy show. Yeah. Um, so... A lot of people walked over and went, nah, it's, I don't care, Wonder Woman. So I went and looked at the box, and I saw these issues. There's actually two I have, 204 and then 206. And uh, Wonder Woman Broker's Sword. Like $100, I think I paid, really yeah. cheap. And I was like, wow. And they were like beautiful-looking copies. So this one was a raw book I got. I said this is a 9-0. Raw. Boom. Boom. Nice. Wow, that was a steal. Yeah, really and then here's the other book. But it was just so funny that everyone walked over and said, you got any Spider-Man? He goes, nah, I got Wonder Woman. Metamorpho. I was like, uh, I don't want any yeah, more. So, so I, I jumped right in that, and I saw, um, got to be careful using these words in the same sentence, yeah. the box with Wonder Woman in it, Whoa. that uh, these were just beautiful copies. So. Was that a Wonder Woman box? No. <laughs> <laughs> so this says? one I thought was a 9-2. Boom. 9-4. Nice. Goodbye. I got the pair, I think, for 200. Look at this. This is like Sharks and the Jets and uh, oh, oh, yeah. West Side Story. When you need a jet, you need a jet to your last cigarette. <laughs> yeah. Oh, their ankles are tied, too. This is hardcore. Oh, got some bondage in the... Yeah. Is, that a, is that a pole yeah, or is, a sword? Is, oh, it's a sword. Okay, it's I a sword. Like pole dancing. It's like, what, what, I was touched. <laughs> oh, someone had... Is it... What, uh, train of thought. What, uh, it's, it's early on uh, in the burn run. Colossus is chained up. Uh, oh, uh, 112, 111, something like that. 110, 110. Yeah, anyway, it, it's, uh, it, and someone had it listed bondage cover. And I'm like, is yeah. so, and, and no offense to anyone if you're into these things, but <laughs> we're not going to kink shame. A, 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 Colossus? Like someone's like, oh boy, Colossus is tied up. I got oh, there, there, there is. I mean, you always bring up the bronies, but there's those guys that have oh, the latex yeah. fetish, yeah, like yeah, the pop yeah. balloons. We they, see them too. They have balloon popping right, parties. Is that going to be, so I Mike, see Mike's them. doing ECF again this, this summer. And Paraconic Fest and show. Every up. time, <laughs> more costume people show up. That's intentional. Is it? Yeah. And there's going to be even more this time, right? Yeah. But yeah. now this time it's going to be, not that they're ever professional, but like these people really put effort in. This last time, there was a couple people walking around. <laughs> it was yeah. like they basically had... Uh, the Justice League, yeah, they came in. They're actually, they're a group in Buffalo. Ooh. JLA of Buffalo. But they're legitimate ones. They're not just yeah. someone running around in, in underoos. Yeah, no. <laughs> that one kid That's was, a different kind of... Kid was walking around and they were like up to his knee and it's and like... Yeah. You wore those when you were ten. So if, if you want to have, if you want to keep awake at night, have an unsettling thought. Mm -hmm. here, here's I'm cool. gonna I'm gonna put I'm this go on. I'm gonna put this in your head. Uh -huh. So go on to Nightmare eBay. Fuel? So yeah. everyone knows about underoos. You mentioned underoos. Go on to eBay okay. and search for underoos okay. and sort by highest to lowest price sold. And the outlier is always the Wonder Woman underoos sell for hundreds more than any other underoos. Oh. So you got to figure out why do they sell for so much? Buffalo more? Bob's buying them again. <laughs> oh, Mike. Yeah, so this was a 7-0. It had a bend on the lower side of the book, the front cover. Don't we all? Bend. Boom! Oh! Wow, oh so I'm not the penguin. Hey, the page quality went up. They were creamy last time. Oh, now they're like... off white. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this book is just, it's hard to get with I the I bet it's the back cover because there's a little bit of tanning in the back. Yeah. And, and sometimes little... that tanning can make the book go in a bad direction. It's, it it's be... weird. So this thing was moved multiple times. A book was on top. Yeah. It has a dust shadow that's kind of yeah. skewed. Skewed. If you look at the corners, it's kind of like a little off angle. It wasn't stacked. So this was clean, face like... down. <laughs> or face, yeah, actually face down. Where right the sun came up from below. It was on a pole somewhere oh. outside. Wow. Okay, another customer's book. This was, this was super hot for a while. 
Yeah, we had a lot. That mm. one video, I think we had five of them in that one unboxing. I sold like four of these at Raw at one show. Alex has one of my copies. Um, I sold all of mine. But, I did, uh, I did, none of mine got slammed, I don't think. But he had one. I remember he had one, one in the box because it wasn't from box. I, I, just, I remember I put them out and I thought, oh, they, if they don't sell, I'll send them in. And, and like I sold four at one show. We bought a bunch at that place in uh, that mall. Where the guy had the fluorescent lights. Yeah. You got one from, from Rhinos, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You walked in and snagged it. So this one was a customer's book. I think this was a four, four, five? Boom. Five, oh, okay. Boom. Yeah, it wasn't that nice when I sold it to you. <laughs> I got to charge more. <laughs> I have to go back and... Ask for a little bit more. Yeah, you got today's price. Yeah. Forgot to mention the labor. Yeah, Pardon the labor. Oh boy. Okay, so this was a CPR 8.0 Avengers number two. Head Avengers? Yeah. <laughs> Avengers. So this one I, I got. Uh, yeah, that's I, a gringo. <laughs> <laughs> so I intended to keep this for my personal collection, but when I got it, I was like, there's nothing wrong with this book. And there was a couple of subtle bends and such. So I thought, you know what? Again, let's take a chance. Do you have number one yet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. I got it for that dead guy. Oh, so yeah. so <laughs> this, this was an eight. Was I think it's first. definitely got potential for <laughs> yeah. it. Maybe even a 9.0. Boom. Survey says. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Blistering. Nine, two. Blister. You got a blazer. Holy That's a cow. blazer right there. You know what's funny? I Pushing old people down the stairs? It, well, that too. <laughs> 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 agony. What's, what's interesting is I didn't get an upcharge this time. For the other video, we had a Batman 181, uh, 9.2. Last year or two, I've noticed I got a lot of these upcharges when the book is more than their their tier uh, max value. Which you usually it's phone two call? times. They used to call you on the phone. Yeah, Harshan, yeah. Hey, uh. Harshan Patel, <laughs> yeah. he would call me up and he would say, I got some <laughs> yes, bad news. Yes. And I'm like, ah. Oh. No, good news and bad news. Well, yeah, he would say good news. Yeah. He would say, Your hey. Your phone went up, but I didn't have to charge you more. Yeah, I got to talk to you about this book. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I was like, oh, boy. No, you don't. He goes, no, it's Don't make news. me come down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were in Parsippany, New Jersey at the time. Mm -hmm. They weren't in Florida yet. So this was like back few Younger kids back. CDC was actually started in New Jersey, Parsippany, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. They moved to Sarasota, like I think around 2005 or so. Um, but yeah, that book. They needed to be closer. To that's about a five thousand dollar book, and I put it into the value tier. So they should have probably upcharged me for it, but uh, no time. I, I'll let it slide this time. You know, it's a I think good you do enough with them. Yeah. No business. Uh oh, I see a purple label. I don't that's recall. Not good. Oh no, this is intentional. Good. This is intentional. Well, when you get to old books. It's before scumbag dealers, really, yeah. and everyone colored their books back then. They called them colored. They books. just wanted them be. They just wanted them look nicer. I remember kids too taking like masking tape and just going down the entire spine. There was always the Pop Hollinger. Yeah. He called those fortified books. Look it up. Yeah. Pop Hollinger. Yeah, but he used old. the worst kind. It was like packing tape with the strands. Yeah. In it. you know, like it's not. <laughs> but he used on. the he used the brown stuff. Yeah. So this is this is the enforcer. Hold your hand out like this. This is the enforcer. Oh my <laughs> Look at that. I think the nuns use that in their That's uh, three quarters of an inch thick. I think it's a beast. Look at that. That's hefty. Yeah, you know you got something in your hands when you're holding on. <laughs> so this is, this is Tales of Terror Annual Number 2. Annual? It's, it's really hard to find. They, 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 oh, I didn't cover the grade. I just saw the grade, Mike. They took remaindered books and they, they rebound them and put a cover on that. So you get a variety of books. All the notes in the top. Tell you what actual issues you received. Each one was yeah, all that creepy guys in the front. Each one was slightly different. So when I got this book, um, I saw that it said in the notes a little bit of glue on the spine. Well, I think they glued the entire cover back yeah. on. When I got it out, I realized how much glue was on it. You so see the remnants. I didn't want to mess with it. I kept it as is. I expected it to still be a five zero. Yeah, five zero. Mm -hmm. um, purple label. But again, it's an ultra rare book. Um, very nice eye appeal. If you look at the edges, I'd love to look. If you look at the at the top there, it tells you what's in. It. Yeah, yeah. Like it's I said, they, they put remaindered copies in there. Yeah. So each one was slightly different. No two of these. Those guys were so shifty, weren't they? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's ain't a makeup box. Hey, you got a bunch. You're gonna send them back to the distributor. You might as well do something yeah, with them. Yeah, printed the pages. Yeah, you know, put a cover on. These dumb kids will buy you anything. <laughs> Throw some in the bathroom. Yeah. Put some in other new covers. Yeah. Coke doesn't buy itself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one's my other another client book. This is a and this Deadpool is one of the books, one of these mod new mutants ninety eight more modern books that 
um, technically, I think his when is this is 91, so this is still in the in the copper. Mm -hmm. But it, it, I noticed that the prices on these, if you look this book up, it, if it's not newsstand, the prices are massively dis different in these books. Like Spider-Man 300. Yes, double. This, yeah. yeah, it's like double for, for the yeah. newsstand. And we got to talk to Kevin when you see him about they need to show that pricing because they don't differentiate. Oh, that's right. They don't. No. They let them know. Yeah. So yeah, they don't need to do it for all of them. But I think you know, I think the copper and above, you really do because it's a massive price difference. There was there was an instance. The biggest one is like Spawn. If you look up Spawn one and you look up the newsstand compared to uh, the direct, yeah. it's not even that close. That was really hard to find newsstand. Yeah. So this is this is the infamous book that I've actually owned two nine point eight copies of this, and both were newsstands. And when I sold one of them, um, it was delayed in shipping. It was done during Christmas, and the buyer filed the complaint with eBay. And he wanted a full refund. And I told him, it's only been two weeks. We're in the middle of December. You live in yeah. California. I'm in New York. Give it three or four weeks. He insisted, no, I want a full refund. So I said, fine. Is it this book? Yeah. Oh. So I gave him a full refund. It was $1,000 at the time. But it was a newsstand. So I expected the book was going to come back. And I told him, if you do receive the book, please just write in the box. You know, return to sender. Don't even bother opening the book um, or the box. So I'm looking up the price to reprice. It had been you know, a month or two since I put it on eBay and listed it. And then I noticed that newsstands were double the price mm -hmm. of direct. So the buyer knew that he got the book for a deal. I should have charged him fifteen to sixteen hundred. And the book did eventually arrive, and he refused to send it back, and he kept my money. Oh. So finally, I got PayPal and eBay involved, and they we forced him to return the book. But then he goes, "No, nah, I want to keep the book now." And I'm like, "Yeah, because you got to steal." Mm -hmm. So long story short, I got kind of taken to the cleaners on that new. I mistakenly put it up. Not knowing. So this one I think was a nine six. This was a raw client book. Ooh. Yeah, nine six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little little crowd here. Yay, yay. Hey kids, <laughs> the kids like it. Okay, so back to my stuff. Um showcase number eleven. This oh, challenge is unknown. They are exploded. Just great covers. So this is a I think a Jack Kirby cover. Yeah. Um six point five. Second generation label. That alien's gotta hit the gym. <laughs> so what? The alien's gonna like what what hippie gym? He's gonna hit the gym. Oh hit the gym. I thought you were talking about some survey so, this boom! Seven five! Yes! yes! Nice one point jump. That's a new uh new name there. Oh I mean, I, I gotta use that. Ooh. Isn't that uh hippie gym there in that uh that the, cover? The day the earth blew up. Yeah. Oh. That's a weird cover. Nice. Yeah, I, I think I think they, they did one too many blows to that alien's head. He's got kind of a lumpy, lumpy skull there. Look at that. He's got a big knob sticking on the side of his head. Mm. I'll show you. I'm going to blow up the Earth. Oh, it's just a model. It's not the real Earth. Mm. Okay, where is my... I think I'm missing a label. These are so thick. Yeah, I'm missing a label. Uh, so this one, Silver Surfer number one, this was a CGC 8.5. Oh, wait, no, no. Here it is. So this is interesting. So I, I don't get many error labels. People claim, you know, complain they get error labels. So this one we unboxed. This is about a year ago. It came back as 8.5 restored. Now I know they do sometimes on old Golden Age books if there's a minor amount of oh. blue or very, very so minor. So it said restored, amount. but it still was blue? So here's the difference. Now it does say right here, a small amount of color touch in text, but you it's don't have corner. a restored label that says C1. It actually put right here, See where it says slight? Slight C1. So the, the, the nomenclature is if there is very, very minor restoration on Golden Age books, they give it a blue label with a small note. They don't put the designation mm -hmm. over here. But this one, I think they picked the wrong color when they printed it out. Again, so, food trucks out front, Mike. We don't get time That's for this. right. I'm not that's reloading that. Burrito burger. Friday. Push it through. Me and Hippie Jim are going to go out and get Me some and burritos. Me and Hippie Jim, yeah, we're going to get some burritos. So this one, oh, yeah. I could not sell. <laughs> Everyone looked at the book, they go, ooh, 8 5. They go, wait, it's oh, restored. Wait, wait, what is this? No, you know what happened is they would have bought it and then come back like an hour later. Yeah. No, I, I couldn't I couldn't sell it. So yeah, I cracked it out. Movie restoration. Back. It's now a blue, blue label, hopefully. And I think the restoration was right there. Yep, right down there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Boom. Yes. Nice. It's a, you know, okay, so that's good. I got the All correct, pages. correct label. No, we have one of these in the last one. Oh, it was, it was cream colored before. Cream. No, nice. it's got a page bump and a grade And you could, you could, uh, it's perfect for home defense. That's right. Stuff a bullet with that. Uh, that, 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 that Tales, uh, Tales of Terror book is for home defense. That thing is a brick. Okay, this... Oh, no. Wah, wah, wah. Poiple. 
Though someone once told me, they go, I like that purple label goes well with the cover, which is also purple. Killer date stamp. I'm gonna stand up so you can see it. Nice. So this was a purple 9.0. Anthony, put in the comments, did this one make your coffin video? Oh, that's right. He did a whole video on coffins. Well, he did the morgues. Yeah. So this was a, a purple 9.0. Um, it had a lot more color touch than me. They indicated, so I guess I missed some of it. <coughs> yeah, I got into it and I was like, "Yeah, I shouldn't have touched it," because all these like little tick marks oh, right yeah. here. These were all. How about that one I, sh I oh. sent you last week? That vi that picture that someone was selling that one on eBay. Which looked, book? It, it, I can't remember, but it was they did the color touch on the spine, and it looked like it, like they had used like a, a paper. Uh, a whole punch or something to remove the. the oh, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, I, I texted it to you. I was, I was looking through. I'm like, this is just the worst uh, removal I've ever seen. That's like if you hire CGC to do the removal. <laughs> it's like they just get out a scalpel and just like cut Got out the entire Got contracted out. Just get the weed trimmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. It's all gone. Yeah. Okay, so this has got an interesting oh, story. Oh, garden. <laughs> so that one was a 6.0, the one you've got in your hand. This was a CGC 6.0. Had a small spine roll. And this one was a is. raw book that I've actually purchased twice. It's nice. So the reason why I purchased it twice was because the guy backed out of the deal the first time, gave it to Heritage. I had to buy this book off of Heritage to get it back. And we know who the person was that owned the book. Oh, yeah. Because the initials are on the front cover. So originally, I think I offered him like about 400 bucks, which was fair. I thought it was a 6 -0. Um, And he agreed. And then he... He kind of reneged behind my back and sold it to someone else who then sent it to Heritage, unbeknownst to me. And you bought um, it for a discount. And then I bought it off of Heritage just to spite everybody, mm -hmm. including Heritage, because I thought this book was better than a six when I first saw it. So let's see what I got. They're both sixes and boom, boom. Oh, a seven, five. Nice. Yes. Where's the, uh, Vindication. Where's the orangutan? Yeah. Where's the baboon side? Oh, it looks like he's right on the back, too. There he is, kid. There's your favorite buddy. He's dead, though, right? He's got to be long dead. Easily. Look at this picture. Look at him. That is just... That's his first student We're going right to sneak uh, up the guy? You know, we, we should try to look him up, see if we can get him to come to uh, uh, ECF this summer sure. to teach people we'll, how we'll, to do we'll, that. We'll exhume his corpse and prop him in the corner. I like where this is going, Mike. Keep going. Yeah, no, that's okay. I'm... <laughs> Necrocon 2024. Nice. People would show up if you, if you build it that way. There they are, the enforcers. This is their first appearance. Oh, yeah. Right there, it says first appearance of the big man. And the big man's name is Fred Fox. Foswell. Is it Panthers? He was Ox. No. I thought that guy's name was Ox. What's the little guy do? He just stands and watches yeah. Homer Simpson. One guy's, the one guy's or, got uh, the Simpsons last reference. The guy's got the lasso. The Yakuza. Yeah. Oh, I'm waiting for him to and jump then into action. The door. Then he just bounces around. What do you think this one was? Um, so this one was a trade. This was a raw mm, it's book. It's got a sun shadow on the edge. Um, I sense. traded it as a 6.0. Boom. 6.5. Yes. It worked out in my favor. It did. I didn't give the guy the ASM 220-252 like you did, no. Last book. Oh. oh. Beyond. So this is my one of my top super creepy cover so if it's if you want to say pre-code four this is easily my top three pre-code so four books uh it could be it could be um i did manage to find a copy <laughs> local original order collection a couple of years ago it's a messed up cover so this one i bought as a three five and I, it was a little the cover was a little bit janky it was a little skewed weird spooky supernatural colors there is a little chip missing Sorry. here yeah it's got a, it's got the Edge off but of it. this one and the two from 1954, Mike. Yeah, this one. You know, when you're that old, you got a couple of chips missing from you too. Yeah. yeah. But this one and the one with the two pilots that are flying the plane with the skeleton pilots oh, and the two. Yeah. Those are probably my, my two of my top three pre-code horror books. And I finally got a copy of this about a year and a half ago locally. It's a 4.0. This one I don't think is going to be as nice. Um, it was sold as a 3.5. I think it's. But right. I think it might be a four. Oh, four five. Wow, wow my copy looks a lot better. I may have to get them side by side and see. That's really nice. It is nice. Holy. So off white too. So look at that back cover again. What the heck is this? Um, looks skinny. We're waiting ten days. I wouldn't be seen with him. Oh. Are you sick and tired of being no too skinny scrawny? scarecrow for me? Look at this. So he's 
Look at these kids. How they got you drawn there. Skinny on our team. Harsh body shaming there. Going yeah, on. little stick figure drawing. But people go, I got triggered by that. <laughs> and that was it? Yeah. Yeah. And like that, it's over. There we go. Just rip through that box. So we got one more to go. Slight break, and then we'll be back. Yeah. Uh, the next one is 20... Value. Uh, value. Yeah, 24. No, yeah. vintage. They did vintage, yeah. Different V. Yeah. Different V. Yeah. Anyway, love what you have. Love what you want. In. Pack safely. There you go. Or fly on direct and drop them off. See you all. I'll see you. Bye. And here's my copy of Captain Marvel that I had Pat Broderick sign at the show. Really nice guy. Anyway, here it is.